Senators, welcome back to episode 58 of my Stellaris Roman Empire campaign. In the last episode, we detected a power surge of galactic proportions, and I've located what is seemingly the cause. A gigantic interdimensional rift tearing apart the Suyo system. We don't know what sort of technology could cause such a rift to open, nor do we know what the entities pouring through it even are. But what we do know is that they are extremely powerful. And we're doing our best to analyze their craft and determine their intentions. So there we have it. So the Suyu system, Suyu system, is in the very northern part of the territory of the Pob Privateers. I have an advanced time in between episodes while I was pottering about in the L cluster, adding some extra buildings and things. I noticed a little chunk of territory missing over here with a little hostile alien in it. I went to go investigate. You can imagine my shock, my dismay, my surprise when I saw six million fleet power with some sort of star base, I assume, with about a million fleet power as well, potentially. And of course, I have not let time play, so this is the first of the fleets to come through. So I honestly don't know what that is, uh, and there's a graphical glitch when I come in and out of that system. I honestly don't know what they are, don't know what they're called, we'll find out later. And I have no idea how to counter their ships or what to do. Um, we just need to wait, I think. They're not in the situation log. We can't check them out. We can't study them. Can't do anything. Can't investigate them. It doesn't let me. Just called gamma aliens, as far as we know. All we know is there was a power surge in the galaxy. And that's my best guess at what it is. Now, on observing the hyperlanes and the situation that we, have, we find ourselves in, we seem relatively safe. Uh, Unless they open up more portals, of course, which they very well, very, very well may do. I really don't know. But if they do stay regulated to this one portal for now, it does mean that to get to Saul, for instance, if they were to get all the way over here, it's a hell of a long journey that they would have to go to get out here. Sorry, I just drew that line so people could see it beforehand, actually. So... That's the distance we need to go. We have a gateway that leads to uh, Cosmaleon, and then it's a pretty long hyperlane journey to get all the way up into this spiral arm of the galaxy, this far out arm of the galaxy. So of course, they may jump. They may have other portals. I don't know. But I have an idea of what we could do in case we do need to buy some time, or in case we do need to set a trap. We, of course, now have our Nikol Dyson Beam at the Onager system. And this thing is generating 200 Planck photons every month. And we need 8,500 just to build a target to destroy a star system. And my thinking is that we could destroy the Bajiol system. There's only one way out into the rest of the galaxy, and it's through that system. For this one... Just turn that music down real, real quick. I don't know if that would work. I don't know if the hyperlanes all get destroyed. I don't know what happens. But it could also just be a, a trap we could spring, potentially, if we can get there and build it before they get there. Which we might be able to do. So that's kind of one of my plans. That's at least a bit of a backup. Try to cut them off from the galaxy. Obviously, we want to wait and find out what their craft are capable of if we were to have a look at them right now. It just doesn't tell me. Our scanners can make no sense of the strange vessel. Can't investigate them, just doesn't do anything. But ob on observation, at least just from this, I'm not seeing any armor. And they do look very ethereal. So that might be something we work on. But it could just be how they spawned, I don't know. So that's the information, that's all the information I have, and uh, I'm stressed out, <laughs> as you might be able to tell in my voice. Six million is kind of a lot, uh, if it's just one fleet so far, so a little bit panicked. Uh, so we'll see what happens, but we have 2.4 million, 2.4 million, 1.7, let's say that's 5, 6, 7, about 7 million, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then two behemoth planet craft. We've got about 16 million fleet power, plenty. For the time being. But we don't necessarily constantly have an economy to keep replenishing that if we do get into trouble. And we were about to build up 
our Federation fleet and build that up to strength again, because we can double the strength of it. So I kind of don't want to build anything, obviously, to wait and see what we need. We are still, of course, building... Uh, actually, I don't think it'll be in this list yet. We are building the second Pax Romana. It's just one ship that's going to come out, and then once that comes out, we can then redetermine what we need. So when we do find out, or if we ever do find out what we need... Uh, I'll probably just go through all the fleets. I might even do that between episodes or just put the episode down to do it and then just come back. Just pause it because I think it'll be a lot of faffing around. So that's the situation. We we wait and see what's going on over here. So let's just keep an eye on it. We'll let time play. Of course, we also have our Ascension perk available. Do we feel the need to increase our damage to endgame entities in Crisis? All right, time is now playing. The Birch World is under construction, of course. Oh, sorry, under colonization. Only a matter of days now. I think it was May that we should expect uh, colonization to take place. So I moved some pops around to help clear things up, but um, generally speaking, didn't spend that much time optimizing things this time around because I uh, was staring at the rift, essentially. They're not moving. And uh, now they are. <laughs> Uh, so the Paw Privateers actually have a world here. 84 Pops are living on it. Well, they're moving out. Oh, there's another 2.5 million. Something else coming through as well. Not really making any sound either. It's like the Vazarin, but times... Literally times 20. So, it, it, I stand at a bit of a dilemma, you know? If we mobilize all our forces out here... complete. The Unbiden. The source of the massive power surge we detected earlier has been identified. It comes from some kind of gigantic subspace tear in the CEO system. Fleets of strange spacecraft are, sp are pouring out of this dimensional portal, and earlier reports speak of indiscriminate attacks against everyone coming into contact with them. We've intercepted a powerful signal being sent from the arriving vessels to somewhere on the other side of the portal. It sounds like a hunting call. Spirits protect us. Begins the un Unbiden event chain. Two points of interest. Situation log updated. Feeding ground reached. Prey bountiful. At long last, we shall feast. What are these things? Is that it? That's it. Nourishment. Do you come from a higher plane of existence? Yes. Very high. You're just another type of wretched Xeno, or you picked the wrong dimension to invade. This dimension is glorious. So much prey. Alright, it begins. <laughs> so I stand at a fork in the road. We could send our entire fleet here right now and try to bottle up this portal as quickly as possible. Or we could wait a little bit, rearm our fleets to hopefully better counter their stuff. Do we get to see what they have now? We do. They have side jump drives, so they may very well jump. They're rocking large psionic shields and all the same weapon, small matter disintegrators. Matter disintegrators, large and medium. Not good against shields, strong against armor and hull. It looks like, yeah, they've got no armor. Tyrox, the collective self. So that was their battleships. Extra dimensional invaders, what else do they have? Cruisers? Phantom class and escorts. Interesting. So it's all just the same. All right, well, that's, that's pretty clear what we have to do then. We need to strip all of our weapons that do any armor damage. We don't need them. We need hull and shield damage. And then ourselves, we need to put on as much armor as possible. Because they're not very... Oh, sorry, shields. Because they're not very good at dealing with it. Right? We want to damage... We can't damage armor. No point using armor weapons. We want to damage shields. We want to damage hull. And we want to protect 
against as against energy weapons ourselves. Yep. Now I wonder what they're gonna do to the planet. I'm very interested to see that. That rift graphic is so weird. Originally, I thought it was a modded event when I saw that. I guess this, this confirms that it's not. So there we go, they've got their little patch of territory already. Alright, so this means in between episodes now, or not in between episodes, I'm gonna put the, the recording down. And I'm gonna rework our fleets, because it'll just take me a while. And then we're gonna do big upgrades, and we're gonna move out. But it's gonna take a while to get there. And in that time, they're gonna be building a bunch of things. I'm moving uh, a construction ship out this way to get to that system to build the mega structure we need so that the Nikol Dyson Beam can aim here. It's a Dyson Beam wormhole generator. We're lacking 3,900 Planck photons right now. We have 4,600. If we're lacking 3,900, let's say we're lacking 4,000. Uh, that's 2,000. That's 20 months it would take. So a year and a half. All right, awesome. A worthy contender for the Roman Empire. Oh, you know what we could do as well now? We're already... Focus the Unbiden. Extra dimensional invaders are a threat to all life in the galaxy. If we do not unite to stomp them, they will overwhelm us all. We should make dealing with this crisis the galactic focus. Now, there's already something on the Senate floor. Banning organic slave trade. Can I get this off the floor? Is that possible? Can I not veto it now? No? I don't think so. It's too late. But we want to emergency measure this one in. But we can't. We have to wait. We have to wait until the current session is over. Fair enough. Does that- what does that give us? Does it give us anything? All empires within the galactic community will open borders to one another and mobilize for war. So it doesn't give us any bonus like it did before with the um, uh, fallen empires. All right, well, I think generally, I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but it looks a bit more straightforward than I thought. If the, you know, if they just clearly have a weakness with having no armor. It makes it pretty straightforward how we need to outfit our ships. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna just save it and I will be back right after a mini break that you won't even notice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. So I just spent the last few minutes in the ship designer, kind of buffing up our fleets as much as possible with as much shielding as possible to really soak up the damage that they're going to be doing as they do a negative. They're not so good at fighting shields. And then removing as many armor penetration weapons as we have and armor damage weapons as we have and loading back on more shield damage weapons and things like that. So we'll have a look at them in just a bit. But for now, that is... I just wanted to catch you up on that's what we've done. So I haven't actually commissioned the upgrades yet. I don't know if we're going to be able to handle the cost of all this. A lot of stuff I ended up building costs us enigmatic energy, and we don't have that much of it, so we'll see. So let's start going through and start upgrading now. This might be a bit awkward actually thinking about it, so just select them like this. I will just let those do their thing see where we end up. There's still one more ship that I need to um, change. Uh, it's the Federation fleet, the Trireme class. So we'll see how that goes. So they should begin upgrading now. We'll come over and have a look at them in a moment. Hopefully our fleet power doesn't get uh, way smaller or something like that. That'd be devastating. Alright, it looks like the Unbiden fleet is heading out into the Viriac system. One of the first ones to move. They have two 2.5 million fleets behind them. There's several constructor ships, uh, starbase, and then in our situation log now it says the Umbiden. Um So, a massive tear in the fabric of space has appeared in our galaxy, acting as some sort of one-way conduit between our reality and another. Strange ethereal spacecraft are pouring in through this dimensional portal, and they seem to leach energy to lethal effect from those unfortunate enough to be caught in their path. Uh, this is fine. <laughs> That'll be solved later. Oh, they're moving full force out. There's another 2.4. I don't know when they stop. I don't know if they stop, to be honest. I'm not liking the, this thing here. Dimensional anchors active, 1. So I guess we need to reduce that down to 0 to win. So, 
they can open more portals, or maybe they build more. That might be the case. New technology discovered. All right. Well, it sucks to be the pub privateers. That would have been pretty shocking now if that opened up in our territory. Gotta gotta be honest. Uh, so, defense platform damage, kinetic weapon damage. Well, sure, we want energy weapon damage really more than anything, but yeah, we'll do some strike craft as well. Borders opened with the Dakarite mm -hmm. Fragments. You bet your balls they're open. Species mm -hmm. modification. Let's just do that a couple more times so we can ease the lag anywhere. Anywhere that's possible is always good. Anyone with a lot of variants? Not that many, actually, really. Let's just do these guys. Let's get rid of that psionic trait. I don't want them having that. Situation log updated. All right, that should help a little bit. So let's take a look at our fleets. No upgrades complete just yet. The Behemoth Planetcraft. I've also scheduled an upgrade as well. And they're big boys. Diana can't get an upgrade. The Pax Romana 1 can, though. Oh, I don't think I actually upgraded the um, Juggernaut, thinking about it. That might be one I have to do. Alright, man. We've assessed the situation. When is this finishing? Pretty soon. Incoming transmission. The research agreement. No. You don't need it. Just put all your effort into the attack. That's all you need to do. We don't need to show you our technology. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten million right there, pretty much. Was well, nine million, really. <laughs> because the thing that has me is we could throw our entire fleet into that. If we win, great. But we'll have barely anything left to then keep pushing. And if they keep coming through with 2.5 million, it's going to be crazy. All right, a lot of our upgrades are being finished. This is good. It's going smoother than I thought. We did spend about 1,000 enigmatic energy. All right, it is the 1st of April. 1st of April. 35 years left to go for victory. Species enhanced. Energy weapon damage, I'd love to see it. Shield hit points, i love to see it as well. Species were enhanced, it's good. Construction online. So I have to keep letting them do their thing. I do need to keep an eye on um, Construction online. that new fleet that's been made. Construction online. 34 days in the Yandos. Why I don't know why it defaults to Yandos, but it always does that. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of our alloys now to mobilize more behemoth planetary craft. Behemoth craft. That's gonna take a while. What do we need? 85,000? Jeez. It's expensive. Hopefully it'll be worth it. We won't be able to do all four then, because we don't have enough. We will in time. I'm going to have to write down the name of the systems they're in because I keep forgetting them. Federation Invitation. It's fine. It's fine. Construction online. So they Please just upgrade. straight up destroyed the starbase here. Interesting. But it hasn't removed the territory yet. Is there a planet here? Actually is, Fleet yeah. Upgraded. Yeah, don't know what they're doing to the planets yet. Don't know if they're even bothering with them. Maybe they don't. I would imagine they do. I'm surprised they're not just sitting bombarding it. Imagine living here. Oh my god. And you're just like, yep. We're fucked. <laughs> Station is abandoned, but it once belonged to the pop privateers. We have conquered another world. Hey, that's the Birch World, I think. Nova Roma. And it was right on time, first of May, like it said. Alright. There we go. Well, there's a list here as if we could scroll for more, but I guess there isn't. Um, so... 
We have two pops here already. Insular constructor managers. The, f the bottom one, I think, provided housing straight up, didn't it? Housing 100. So we could start with one of these. Start kind of modest. I'm guessing you can only have one of each, and then you just keep getting more as you grow or something. I think it says that. Yeah, one insular constructor manager job per 100 pops. So. Although this makes alloys. So we could start with the uh, Katizma insula. This is 150 housing, actually. Yeah, let's go with that. All right. It begins. Same old building slots. It would be nice if it filled up the whole thing, actually. I guess I'm using a UI mod as well, thinking about it. All right, Nova Roma has been established. The Birch World at the center of the galaxy. Of course, we're going to do everything in our utmost power to protect it during these vulnerable times. And the upgrades are still ongoing. Good. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I should bother going through things. I mean, people will want to see, I suppose. So let's have a look at the Behemoth Planetcraft, at least. So this is what we're rocking on this bad boy. So pretty much all shields, yeah? And I have whole regen mapped out. To be honest, I could probably do way more shield capacitors. But you know what? It's, just, it's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect, so just deal with it. But, um, yeah, I'm rocking corrosive warhead torpedoes. Grey Goo Warhead Torpedoes. So they do extra damage against armor and stuff, but they're one of the most powerful things I can use that also do shield penetration or straight-up shield damage. That's the reason I've chosen it. Um, then we have a Magno Magnetohydrodynamic Cannon. Fleet upgraded. Enigmatic Energy Lances for the shield damage. Construction online. Arc Iron Kyle Cannons. 100% shield penetration, and then straight up like 15% hull damage, so this is one of the highest damage weapons I have. It just goes straight through shields, I'm guessing, 100% shield penetration, and then just does damage to the hulls at a modified rate, I think. Uh, crystalline Impalers, really high damage as well. This does shield damage. This is really hitting the shields hard. Uh, and then it'll kind of go through to the hulls as well later. And of course, we just have the default weapon. So, heavy on the enigmatic energy, and then we're going to be heavy on this next one as well when we get a chance to see it in a sec. Uh, Firestorm auto cannons. Then we have the interceptor wings and new technology discovered. Uh, nanite bombers that are going to be bombing, basically doing damage to armor. There's no armor, so it'll just be hitting hulls straight up if they're doing bombing runs. So that's good. Uh, large chrono vortex cannons for the shield damage and hull damage. Perfect, really, and. Um, Shield damage and hull damage on this one as well. Spatial distortion. And then shield damage, hull damage on these ones as well. So, I think I've done alright. It's what I've done anyway, we'll see. <laughs> you guys can tell me where I'm wrong afterwards, I'm sure. But life's only so short. Life's too, sh yeah, life's too short. I've only got so much time to spend in between episodes doing things. Um, alright. Kinetic weapon attack speed, explosive weapon attack speed. Let's just do the strike craft damage because I know that they're going to be doing good. Some of the bombers. Nice to see borders opening. Uh, is there anything else that's not upgraded yet? Let's check. The juggernaut needs to upgrade. The juggernaut's doing its own upgrades. I don't really like the idea of that. It's uh, upgrading other fleets, I should say. Yeah, so just stop that. Can we just cancel that? And just go here and upgrade. It's just faster. Instead of doing one at a time, they can do like 50 at a time. I think that's it. I think that's it. Just select them all we can see. Yep, seems like it. We need to add some generals on that, or admirals on that behemoth planet craft as well. I ain't forgetting. So once that's built, then we can use the rest of our alloys to build up the next fleet, uh, the next Federation fleet. We're just waiting on, I think it should be done by now. Yes, Classes 2 is available. It's down here. We want to bring it all the way back up here. Starfield and Mars. Actually, you know what? I just realized before the Federation fleet can now go upgrade, just cancel that. 
we need to upgrade one of the things here. So Federation Ship Designer, the Trireme class. So this needs to change. So Point Defense Bow, that can probably does that have to be used because it's a carrier. Okay, fair enough. Well, we don't really want Flak. I didn't see Strikecraft, so I'm going to go with Light Storm Point Defense. Which I think is just going to be better. Yeah, I don't know. Seems fine to me. Um, and then we want to do shield penetration and hull damage. That's kind of cool. The advanced tomahawks. They don't. They're not very high damage though. Yeah, we'll probably just go with what we were using before, which is basically shield damage, hull damage, armor damage. I like combining the both the two of these. Although micro singularity is pretty good too. Maybe we'll do one of each. So basically, that's shield penetration, shield damage, average damage of 50, and hull damage, right? So that's good. This one does armor damage and just penetrates shields. These are just the modifiers, though. They still damage hulls. So maybe the Eradicator Torpedo is actually probably not the best there. This one's a little bit better because it has a modifier to hull damage. Yeah, this one's kind of weak, actually. So let's go with another cor Corrosive. All right, let's get the Enigmatic Energy on these things. That's fine. Is there nothing else I could... I could use different things here. The carriers, it might be nice just to spam out, like, loads. Well, we already are, actually. Yeah, loads of ships. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Okay, cool. Let's leave that on. And then let's get these ones. And these Ravaging Swarmers do shield penetration and hull damage. I'd love to see it. They're the highest damage strikecraft we have. Could put them there, but I'll just leave... I want a bit of variety. So that's fine. And, uh, yeah, we need to just stack on more shields, I think. Hopefully that's okay. Oh, we're very low on power already, so we'll just put that back on. Shield, armor, and ship hold points. We could give ourselves just a bit of a bit of a boost to power and then throw on some extra shields like that. So that's the trium class. I'm happy enough. It's good enough. Alright. So now we can upgrade the Federation. Boom. And then classes 2, Pax Romana 2 really is what this should be called. So let's just name it correctly now. Pax Romana 2. That's going to come up here and then basically build itself the same way as the other fleet. How long is that going to take? 219 days to get back here. Okay. Uh, again, yeah, I don't know why it builds down at that random station. It's really strange because I have set its home base station to be somewhere else before I ever built anything. And when no one else was building things either. Uh, in the starbase. Like the starbase was clear of shipyards. The shipyards are clear. And it still wasn't working out. So I don't know. So where's our construction ship? That's the other thing I'm curious about. Is if we need to detonate that system. The Parthia 2. It's 255 days away. Ah, oh, we can do a jump right now though. Fleet upgrades applied. Now we don't have 10,000 photons. We have five and a half thousand, so we just have to wait anyway. Please don't crash. I think it's okay. Always have that horrible fe sinking feeling when you just hear the audio cut out for a second. You're like, oh no, it's crashed, you know? New technology discovered. I think we're all right. I think we got away with it. All right, edict duration. We'll have to obviously add on a bunch more edicts online. before we go into any combat as well. Haven't forgotten that, so we'll just keep building them up. Loads of shipyards at the, that place. That Gaia is finished as well. This is finished. This finished. These are all finished. Good. Love to see it. Uh, the macro atmospheric stabilizer construction site built. So, I gotta be honest, what was that? We've already built these two. Macro atmospheric. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. I'm sorry, I was quite loud into the mic there. Um, yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> Building above Uranus. Uranus. That's the best way to say it, I think. Alright, what do they got? So, 5 million there, and they have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 or 14 million. Oh, that's nothing. 
Jesus. All right. Well, we need these planetary behemoths to get activated as well. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted? The challenge? <laughs> I think we're doing everything correctly, though. All right, so this is the hyperlane generator around this place. We'll just jump across. How's that birch world coming along? Halfway done for the Kitsima Insula. Part of the Ithaca sector? I don't think so. We'll have to change that. Make this the sector capital, of course. And Marcia. Vinicius is leading it with uh, good research. She's an intellectual. And she has architectural insight. Uh, <laughs> well, that was a, almost a faux pas there. Uh, in architectural interest. <laughs> build cost and district cost and build speed is increased. That's perfect. It's great. Good job. Good job. She'll oversee the Nova Roma nicely. Yeah, I don't know how much more is going to come through. Or does it just more come through as Three they expand? They also applied. seem really slow. Like they've just... Oh, they're moving now again. Oh, they're above the planet. That's why they are... They are doing things to it. <laughs> yeah, they're devastating it now. All right, we've got yet another planet craft that's able to mobilize. This will prevent us building our third fleet. Or our second... Um, Federation fleet, but I think it's I think it's better to invest in these things first. Construction online. Did we get our upgrade? Are we done? Uh, apparently not. Do it again. Let's uh, update the juggernaut as well. If I could find it, that'd be good. Right, we want to get rid of these things. Dark matter launchers aren't doing nothing for no one. Let's just blank slate it for a second. So we have artillery juggernaut. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Tons of power on this thing, so it should be easy to... Alright, 56,000 shields, is that alright? I think so. Strike craft speed, defense, so that's on allied ships. On effect on ship weapons range. Uh, yeah, ship weapons range, I guess. I think so. Let's try that. I wonder, can it upgrade itself? Can't even see it anymore. There it is. It can upgrade itself. That's interesting. Alright. Oh, another one. Wow. Uh, I think we have one more after this. We won't be able to afford that one. We'd have to wait a year. Discovered. All right, good. All the time we're buffing our shields and our energy weapons. It's excellent. It's exactly what we need to be doing. All right, they're on the move. They're getting pretty close to where we'd want to build our target. I don't think we're going to get it done in time. 6,000. So we have 4,000 points to go, which is... That's 20 months, so we have 20 months now. Actually, no, wait, it's not that much. We have the cost reduced a little bit. We're lacking 2,500. So just a year to go. A year and we can build it. Start building it. Oh wow, they cut through that territory pretty quick. I guess because there's no planet. Yeah, they left this one alone as well. They're lucky. Sir. 
Side jump drives, psionic shields, level four. So this is, I just need to write this system name down because I'll forget it, it's Antares. Antares. That's where the last uh, behemoth planet craft is, the BBC. <laughs> All right, so I won't be able to upgrade it for a little while. Not actually that long, to be honest, but a little while, all the same. All right, it's the year 2465. So we're just 10 months in to having the Unbiden in our game, in our campaign, in our world, our galaxy. And we're just refitting all our ships to address the problem and the threat. And it's going to take two to three years for those behemoth planet crafts to activate so I think we'll have to go over before they're even made stop the spread even if we can push them back hold them back a little bit for a little while although I don't know they probably build faster than I do we still have room in our naval capacity and we have double the space now in the Federation so we should be fine there as well is all the I think all the upgrades are done now yep so I like to see. Yeah, man, I can't believe we actually had the resources to do it. I really didn't think we would. Well, that's great. Well, if we're ready... We're ready, right? Yeah, we're basically ready. All we need to do is build that other Federation fleet. We could just do that at the... We don't have... We can move out now if we want to. I don't think we need the armies, the legions. I think we're good to go. It's a hell of a force. We're just going to stack it all on one thing. Uh, let's just get out to... Cosmaleon, which is where we have to go. Just get a little bit more in position. They're coming straight for my construction ship, by the way. <laughs> it seems like. So I don't think we're going to get that thing built. New technology discovered. But there's always other places we might be able to lure them in. For instance, here might be a good spot as well. We do have a construction ship right there. Another one will be here. If they want to come this way, they have to, you know, come out that way. Unless they go wrap around. I have no idea, but I kind of just assume they're going to be prioritizing us. So now they've got six million there in one big fleet. They have two, four, six, eight. About ten million there. Receiving transmission. And about half a million there. So that's twenty-one million total fleet power <laughs> 21 million fleet power so far remember I went with mega structure build speed just because if I want to build these markers I want them to build fast Six million. I'm so tempted to go try to take New out that flagship fleet. Discovered. I wonder why this one's so much bigger than the other ones. And then we'll activate all our edicts. We'll research military applications. We'll do everything necessary to give us as many benefits and bonuses as we can. I think we have the resources to get all of these things as well, should we need to. Oh, okay. And we have the Ascension perk. I think we'll get it. I mean, I don't know what I'm waiting for on it, really. I think I think we've established we probably need it. Uh, so the dynamic core igniter built in Sol has been done. There we go. Mercury is now a lifeless, habitable world. So with that, we can now turn it into a continental. It, I don't even think you need to, though. A hot, barren world. A hot, barren world with little to no atmosphere. This planet is close to the central star of the system. Drastic changes to the, in temperature occur with unbearable amount, enormous heat during the day and near absolute zero temperatures at night. But it doesn't actually affect habitability, does it not? It doesn't seem to. I mean, I could just terraform it one more time to continental, just make it lovely, even nicer, spread some greenery around it. Let's do that as a final stage. 
Although we could colonize it now, couldn't we? Even if we... Because it's terraforming, we can't. Can we cancel it? We could just colonize it and then terraform it. Thinking about it. It's just that they've been waiting here for such a long time. No need to rename it. Just call it Mercury. This one's done in 52 days. Alright, cool. Alright, we're up to 54,000. We need 80,000 and then I'll build the uh, thing at Antares, the planetary behemoth planetary craft at Antares. And then, with everything else, we're just going to build our next federation fleet, build it to the max limit we can. And uh, ride out to battle, essentially. Push the Unbiden back in their box. Have we gone through? We're going through now. Let's get those construction ships out of the way. Establishing colony. All right, we are basically out there. Here we are here. Enemies here. Six million. 2.4, 2 2.5, 2 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2. 2. 2. okay, this is actually getting a little insane. I'm not liking this at all. They're coming out of there pretty quick now. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm getting a bit worried. What are we on for playing photons? Six. Seventeen hundred left to go. Hmm. Question is, do we now do a jump? If we do a jump, we don't. We leave our attackmans behind. It's the only negative to that. But you know what? I don't even know where they are. The attackmans—they're really slow. To be honest, they're just like basically outdated at this point. The Augusta. Sorry, my bad. No, I'm not going to throw them away. Leave them out here. Pax Romana 12, they're on their way back, right? Oh, they're there now. Good. Oh my god, did I forget? Oh no, that's not Opsius. I thought that was Opsius. Opsius is there. Cosmalian. We'll just wait to get everyone together at Cosmalian before we do any... We think even think about doing any kind of jump. How very fitting that we're going through the Sol gateway as well. So yeah, two planet, two behemoth planetary craft, four attack moons. That's what we've got coming through right now. We could, can we, can we build another gateway? No, you can't build it in friendly territory. It's a shame. So we do have to just go through here, basically. We are one jump away, by the way, from these guys now. One jump away. Didn't quite get to see what happened to that planet. Uh, was it here or was it... It's, it was back up here, wasn't it? Yeah, they're bombarding it. 85 pops. Okay, our hyperlane generator emitter is complete. We can then build the... The receiver on the other side. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hyperlane generator receptor. Oh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be that guy. I want to build it a bit more to the right. Just have the lanes look correct. Cool. Yeah, we need the other side now. Great. That's going to look good. <laughs> it's the little things that are important in this New time of crisis. Discovered. All right, shield hit points increase. At least we're getting stronger all the time. Well, so are they in a different way, but they're numerically getting stronger. We're growing taller, I suppose. 88 available jobs. 
Oh, it does look like you can only build... Flannick can only support two districts. Atmospheric purifier terraforming successful. So you only can have two districts. A lifeless fogged world. Greenhouse world, lifeless fogged world, noxious traces. That'll go away over time. Well, that's fine. Get get living on it. And we'll colonize that as well. That's fine. And we'll terraform it once we get down there. Great. Mercury and Venus. Terraformed. Already one stage of terraforming, but they need a second stage. Alright, has the rest come through? The behemoth planet craft? Are they here? The attack moons are. Little baby attack moons. They're nothing now compared to that um, behemoth. I feel like I need some, like, tension building music, but I, I don't know. I don't know what to use. I'm feeling a lot of tension. I don't know. Should we go for a battle or not? You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like if we leave it longer, they get more powerful. But if we go now, we might at least hold them back for a little bit. Classes 5 and Classes 1 are not full health. Colony. Which is uh, frustrating. God, be slower. Oh my god, look how slow they are. Jesus. Well, it takes a lot to get into the position, I guess. At least they can jump. Right, it's going to be really annoying to do, but we need everyone to follow the... Uh, Diana's wrath. <laughs> They're the slowest craft. Okay, Diana's Wrath. Start heading up this way. We're gonna go for it. It's gonna take a while to get there. I wonder how long this thing takes to build. Ninety-three days. Doesn't take very long at all. Thirteen hundred plank photons left. Be so amazing if we just annihilated them with a good shot from the Dyson beam. But I think I think even after the thing is built, we need even more to charge it. So I don't know though for sure, but I assume so. Because we're just building a, a portal. We're not building the shot. So I feel like it's going to take even longer. What the hell is this? I can't be terraforming complete already, is it? Oh yeah, that was a different one though. Cool. Mm -hmm. 93,000. All right, we need to go to Antares. Mm -hmm. Activate the final behemoth planet craft. Yeah, I think we might need to get out of the system. Ship weapons range innovation. Don't think Opsius can do any of his trickery against a fleet twice his size now. Alright, well at least they're all moving together, that's good. The Behemoth Planetcraft are behind, but I'm just gonna jump them when we need to. What's this? Pirate fleet? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> How's the uh, vote going, by the way, as well? 600 days until that vote's done, and then we can push through the uh, focus for the in Biden. On Biden, but it seems like it's happening anyway, where people are opening their borders, which is good to see. Yeah, they're moving up their Void Shaper Extra Dimensional Invaders. The Void Shapers. I'm guessing they're going to open up another tear and then just come through, like, way faster. Ah, so laggy. I'm so annoyed as well how long it's got. Or interest. Not interested, what's the word? Surprised, I guess, how long it takes to get over here.
Damn, we don't have much longer left in the episode. It would be nice to find the battle in this one. Because I don't want to have to wait a week either, you know? <laughs> I record these once a week. Construction online. That's crazy. Just one carrier ship is... 93,000 fleet power. It's pretty good. So that's the one we need to build up now to be the same as the other one. Um, so basically it needs... Paxa Runner 1 as Carrier and Crassus 10. So Carrier 18. Bad idea doing it while time's playing, I guess, because everything just freezes. All right. Oh my god, get me out of that menu before I kill myself. <laughs> Alright, it's the most frustrating menu of all time just because it doesn't respond. Alright, good. Uh, we could activate the sublight speed thing, I guess. Let's do that. Blade of the Huntress. So now we move a little bit faster. Alright, the Behemoth Planet Crafter here. Let's assign a leader. Tulianum has unemployment. It's supposed to have unemployment. Oh my god, they just don't stop. online. They just don't stop. Construction online. Oh my god, first New of the month is so crazy. Alright, let's pause it. So we've built the solar stronghold and a Meeps uh Ambicia, sorry. Okay, that's good enough for now. Brundisium is done as well. Oh, this is Brundisium. Corgus. Where is that? Yeah, sure. Let's build it up. Doesn't cost that much. These alloys are like so small, cheap in comparison to everything else. Alright, that's fine. And then the next one is this one. Alright, cool. So, that's more upgrades to strongholds and things like that, and then more um, upgrades to our technology and our firepower. Haven't come much further south yet. 8,000. Uh, we've got enough. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna build it. 8,500. Damn, lacking 500. Three months to go. Three months to go and we can build it. And then we'll just see how much we need to Let's build it out. I'll build it down here. If they come south, then we'll get him. We'll let him have this. Maybe. We'll just build it in the background. We might still send our fleet forward. It might be fine. It's just a kind of a precautionary measure, just in case. But they are moving their, making their way down towards us. That's for sure. All right, both of you do a jump. Just jump to here. Safe for now. How long is Diana's Wrath going to take? 258 days to get there. Construction online. Construction online. More star bases are finished. Construction at the trouble. Oh, yeah, I've built defenses on the hyperforges. <laughs> All right, the planet craft are here. Online. Just get them there in case they need to get away. Two million, just under two million. Well, that place would have been blitzed. Fuck me, they're coming straight through, it seems. Shit. All right, we're geared up for a battle. They're kind of, like, they're really on the chase. I gotta say. Let's 
connect those hyperlanes. I'll mm -hmm. solve all our problems when we do that. So just for a recap, right? Let's have a little zoom out. Let's remove hyperlanes just for a second. The Biden is up there. They're coming down this way. We have to come through this pocket here and we're wrapping up and around. So we're going to meet somewhere here, probably where the planet craft are right now, if we can. I imagine what's going to happen is they're going to take out a couple fleets, but then the more and more will just keep coming and our damage is going to just keep getting increased. We need to fall back and heal. That's my guess. We might even lose some moons in the process. We'll have to see. New technology discovered. Strikecraft damage. Sure. Yeah, let's take the perk. We're just going to take the perk now before I forget. So the perk is Defender of the Galaxy. Yeah, I'm fine with that. What is this? Esoteric Celestial Weaponization. That's no, fine. Probably can't get them anyway, I'm assuming. Defender of the Galaxy, damage to endgame crisis, fact 50%? Oh wow, that was 25. That's good. Oh, I'm way more confident now. Alright, good. Evading hostiles. Oh, they didn't get away, did they not? Oh, they're about to. Get the hell out of there. What are you doing? Just get the hell out of there. <laughs> Do you have a death wish, son? Good. Oh my god, imagine if I somehow fired on my own ships. Um, do they inhabit planets? I'm guessing they don't. They're extra dimensional, right? They didn't even bother with that one, they just left it there. This one they're bombarding. See, so I can't take out a system without building the thing in it first, so you have to kind of make sure it's not hostile system. Right, let's see where it is in the list. A hundred, we're lacking 100, so one month to go and we'll build it. Try to build it at the back here. It's a bit of a waste on 2.5 million, but... And there's a mega structure here. This whole place is going to be de just detonated. Come on, we need some more intense music. Where's our ships? They're down here. Let's just get the planet craft to go to here then. Diana's Wrath is on the way. 151 days. They might stop, they might turn around, who knows? Before they keep coming. If they assess the threat ahead. <sighs> They're getting reinforcements pretty fast though. Alright, there they go. The two balls are done. 3,000 minerals each. Did we pass that month? We must have, right? There it is. Nickel Dyson Beam Wormhole Generator. Takes 92 days. Oh, you have to build it on a star, do you? Build it on this one. Might be a bit of a waste. I know I'm doing it very fast, but maybe, just maybe, we'll get it done before they get here. And then at least we'll see what it takes. And maybe we could even use it later if it is built and they take the system. Maybe it stays there? I don't know. You can only have one in the galaxy, so I'm assuming New it stays there. Technology discovered. Edict duration. Oh, yeah, we gotta activate those edicts. Military applications. Spend the artifacts. <laughs> Give me something good. So, combat drugs, harmonic harmonic isolation, 10% damage to shields. Armor damage, 10%. Yeah, okay, harmonic isolation. Love to see it. 
Edict me up. Volatile ammunition, volatile explosives. Exotic gases for the shield boosts. Crystalline sensors, don't really need that actually, to be honest, so that's fine. Nanite actuators, don't need that either. Desperate measures, home territory fire rate and ship build speed in a defensive war. This is a defensive war, you think, right? What's, well, I don't know, it's, it doesn't count as a war technically. Just activate it. Right, hopefully I haven't missed anything obvious. Fleet supremacy, ship build speed, ship upkeep. Might do that. Probably don't need the research subsidies anymore. Might do that in future. All right, 113 days. We're about to link up with the Behemoth Planetcraft. Construction online. All right, 27% built. How many photons do we have now? 300? Hmm. I wonder how much it is for a system. I just feel like it's probably going to be way too much. They're stopping for now, though. For a little while, so that's good. Oh, man, it's intense. I'm trying to spring this trap. Taking them out, taking out, like, two even smaller fleets like this and just by demolishing a system would be so epic. And then we can maybe just jump across the hyperlanes and keep pushing. We have to leave our attack moons behind, but everything else could come with us, including the Behemoth Planetcraft. Oh shit, yeah, they're building their territories. Oh shit, they're building a new portal. You can see the uh, outline of it. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe one's forming, I'm not too sure. Starbase is at 574,000. It has that same outline as this, but it doesn't actually have a tear. It's such a weird glitch. I'm surprised. How have they left that in the game? Anyway. <laughs> right, we're almost... Uh, so they've been, we've been with these, with the Unbiden. We've known about them for just two years now. We've just crossed the threshold. 2467, January. 80,000 alloys in the bank, ready to build that um, Federation fleet. Uh, in, probably in between episodes, to be honest. Queue it up. It's going to take a little bit more than 82, I think. New technology discovered. Energy weapon damage. Keep, keep hammering on that stuff, guys. Did we crash? Audio's cut out. Uh... I think we crashed. Okay, sorry about that. I've actually crashed. I've actually crashed twice now at different days, all within the first couple months here. So we'll see what happens. Um, but just to recap where we're at, I'll do this a third time. If you're hearing me now, you know it's worked. <laughs> but if not, I'll obviously have to try to look at what the problem is. Um, but yeah, so basically we're at 70% on building the wormhole generator here for the Nikol Dyson Beam the goal of firing it as they come through and I'm not too sure if we should click fire beforehand or afterwards I think it's just safest to click fire when we know they're there or at least coming into the system I think that's the best best potential option because if we do end up clicking it and then you need to build something else fair enough but if we end up clicking it before they're even there and it fires and detonates it'd be a whole waste of a galaxy uh, system so that'd be pretty silly uh, so they have 2.4 million 2.4 million and another 2.4. I can't see it, but it's definitely there. In there. So 7.5 in there, and then about a 7 here. So that's a lot. Our entire force is just just south of the Got Gotara system. This looks like where it's all going to go down, basically. Uh, everyone's there. Everyone's together. We want to get them right on the edge, actually. Should really get them ready to jump. I don't know, one of them is saying that they're going that way, actually. That's a bit weird. Alright, that's that time play. There we go. Please don't crash. With all the flashing lights, all the engines coming on as we go to Gatara. New technology discovered. All right, cool. So let's get energy weapon attack speed again. There's another damage one in there, but I want that one first. It's just a bit cheaper. It's a bit quicker. It's fine. So we'll just stay on the edge. Are these going as well? Yep, they just take a while to wheel those planets around. 
And I'm just going to be keeping an eye on this. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to ask me for more photons. We'll just have to see. 80%. 80%. If we could just even just take out a few of these, that'd be so good. And then we'll really be able to start pushing back against the rest of them. Because they still have a lot beyond this. Where's that 6 million, by the way? Did they cut them down a bit? There's 4.9 here. I'm guessing that's the 6 million, because we have ship fire rate is reduced, so that's probably the 6 million just lowered because of the system they're in. Alright, do we have it? Yes. Warp gate constructed. Acknowledged. It's only a matter of time before the system is engulfed in fire. What? Uh, get the hell out? Well, there's nothing in here, actually, so we're okay. I'm guessing we have to fire, though, right? Oh my god, is it happening? I can't do anything. No, it's just the month tick. Sorry, I'm just panicking. I'm freaking out. I don't know how it works. New technology discovered. I'm a bit worried. Alright, it's paused. Okay, no crash, at least. That's good. Strike craft damage yet again. So, what do we have to do? Wormhole gender is able to open a wormhole capable of letting enough energy through for the Dyson beam. Fire. Fire the Nicol Dyson beam at our unlucky targets. I'm guessing that's it then. I saw some image before where like a little pop-up shows you like how much um, damage you want to do. So I don't know if that's going to happen after I click this, but I'm just going to wait. I think it's better to wait because we might get it wrong. I don't want to detonate the system before. That would be ridiculous. We want these guys to come towards us. Now, if they turn and they go a different way, they're actually going the opposite direction. No, come back. Maybe we should, um, Opsius, you know what you gotta do. <laughs> you gotta get up there. You gotta make them come towards you. Their sensors should detect that Opsius is in the system right behind them right now. But they don't seem to care. Hyperlane generator is finished. The receptor. So we just have to activate the original side and then I think it's done, right? Yep. Alright, Opsius is so brave. He's one system away. He's staring death in the face, basically. But they're going the opposite direction. That's so disappointing. We might have to wait. We have a trap. The trap is ready. And we can only have one built. I wonder what happens to the pod privateers. Do they care that I'm going to, like, blow up one of their systems? Probably, right? Uh, although, we're in a federation. I don't know. That'd be annoying if we kicked them out of the federation and then, like, we took a big cohesion hit. That's so disappointing. I'm so sorry. I wanted to end it on a, you know, big cliffhanger, big battle, but... If they're going to go the other way... Ah, they have so much... I can't fight them if they're all together. They need to basically come down this way. If they end up going out this way, then... Oh, shit! <laughs> Fuck! No! Go back as soon as you can. Hopefully he's going to be alright. He's really testing the waters now. They'll be on the other side, at least. We won't go into combat immediately, I don't think. Opsius, you mad devil. Turn around. <laughs> He's like, we just have to have a peek. They weren't even phased by it. Okay. Alright, interesting, I guess. So the trap is set at Katara. And what we could do is just wait to bring up all the other planet craft. They, they take a couple years, though. It will be a couple years just waiting here on the sidelines. We could press on try to engage them in some sort of open combat, which would be cool. It's just they are heavily stacked right now. Two, four, six, eight, and then five. So 13 million fleet power. That's that's a lot. I don't know if they're all going to stay together. They were all so nicely separated before. It would have been so great to bring in just one or two on their own. wonder what their plan is, where they're going. Unknown orders. They're bringing up more. Oh my god, imagine the shot, though, if we could just get them to go in here. Imagine the shot. 
Let's get out of here. At least during this time, we're building a plank photon, so if it does ask me for more, we should be fine. Uh, now, I meant to look at that birch world, because it said something about only one district. Or only, you can only build two districts. So you have to basically specialize the birch world, do you? Yeah, I'm guessing you could just... Yeah, you can replace it, though. So we can't build this. We have one of those, and we have one of those. We have one structure operation. And one Katisma insula. So I guess you just specialize it, and then it builds up that way. 150 housing? But it said it was... Unlimited. New technology discovered. I'm just a bit confused, because it says, like... With that job, you're supposed to get... Oh, maybe he gives you the ability to get another district. Yeah, he does. Got it. Got it. Can we identify that job? Can someone take that job? What are we doing here? Get the hell off... Get the hell off this planet. This birch world. Get out of here. We don't even have humans living here? We do. Di diagnosticians. It's an embarrassment. Get out of here. Go wherever. I don't care. <laughs> Let's get some humans in. Some pre The priests of Appia. And let's just, I don't know, bring in just some from Romulus, just for, for now. Also priests, I guess. So we have an insula constructor. Okay, cool. Ah, and then, yeah. I can build another district. Great. That's what I wanted to see. Alright, yeah, that makes sense then. Um, and how many jobs is that? That was 18 alloy jobs. This would be researcher jobs, entertainer, farmer jobs. There's no entertainer jobs with this one. What about this one? It's kind of hard to read that tool tip. Uh, let's go with this one then. Alright, let's do that. Anyway, so that's a huge amount of jobs then that's available to us now. And the Insula Constructor Engineers provides extra housing and amenities. That's good. Excellent. Right, and we have a faster growth rate here. We have humans growing here. No other pops are going to arrive. And then I'll be relocating a lot of humans here in between episodes as well, just to fill it out. Get some of these um, metallurgists going. Excellent. I look forward to it. All right. Uh, unfortunately, in some ways, that's got to be it for this episode. You know, it's going to be a week for me before I get to come back and play again. But I can't wait to see what you guys say, what you think I should do. Should we rush across and just start fighting now? Should we wait to lure him into the trap? They are together, so I'd rather them be divided if we're going to fight them. But it's great that they're together if they were to come towards Katara. I tried to lure them with Opsius, but they weren't having any of it. More fleets are on the way. Maybe if they get merged up, they'll just decide to come south. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Of course, we also have four behemoth planet crafts that are being built right now. Um, and they can just come through gateways and get here relatively quickly because they can also jump. So there is that. And we're, well, we're ready to go. We've got all the edicts active. We've got the military uh, artifacts active and all of that. So I don't know. I'm a little torn. Do we push and just make a go of it? Or do we hold and try to lure him into the trap? That's really it. it. It's nice to ask you guys, but ultimately it does depend on how they kind of maneuver at the beginning of the next episode. So we'll have to see. All right. And luckily, no crash. So we're good. Seems like we're good anyway. Hopefully, touch wood anyway. No more. And yes, I do have a wooden desk. All right. Oh, yeah. We need to build that other fleet as well. Okay. So we will be getting stronger. We'll have another 2 million on the way then when we build that next fleet. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for all the support. I know this is a very long one. I, the, my timestamps are all out of whack because we had to. I've had to pause so many times from crashes and then the uh, remodeling ships and things like that. So, all right, thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.